three, two, one, zero. All engines running, commit, liftoff. Seconds later, lightning struck Apollo 12. Not once, but twice. Rocket triggered lightning research was born. Rocket triggered lightning is when you have a rocket trailing a copper wire and you shoot it into a target in the thundercloud. You have control over that process. You can bring lightning to that same specific spot 10 out of 10 times. The U.S. alone sees more than 25 million ground strikes a year. Lightning sparked fires, especially in remote areas, can go undetected for hours, even days. It only represents about 10, 15% of the fires, but 70% of the area burned. The reason is it's really hard to find lightning ignitions today with most traditional technologies. Generally, by the time you see smoke coming up from an ignition source, the fire is pretty large. Very few strikes actually start fires. Now, thanks to those triggered lightning experiments, scientists think they know why. High-risk lightning is a type of lightning that lasts a thousand times longer. And it's a very rare type, so it's actually only about 5% of all lightning strikes are this high-risk lightning, extra long duration, and extra high heat. Imagine you're waving your hand above a candle, and you're fine for half a second. Your hand doesn't feel anything, but if you leave it there for a thousand seconds, your hand will certainly start burning. Startup company Fire Neural Network says their new sensors can detect and report these high-risk lightning strikes. Then artificial intelligence factors in local weather and environmental conditions. How do you compute all this data? When you have a neural network, it's able to digest all of these loads, terabytes of data in seconds. And the big change is that it's no longer that firefighters and fire behavior analysts have to spend hours doing this analysis, but it all happens in 40 seconds. The company's Firebird drone can even scout up to 200 miles, confirming ignition. So it's really critical to find those lightning strikes quickly, because if you find the ignitions quickly, you can put them out quickly. Warmer, drier conditions have caused longer, more active fire seasons. It's hoped new technology like this can stop wildfires before they take lives, livelihoods, and property.